What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with the Train Trouble Challenge Pack. We beat the first seven levels in the first video a little while ago. Now we're back to beat the rest of them. Actually, there's like 20 levels. We might get through a few. And apparently, according to the workshop description, Challenge 11 is really hard. But anyway, this is made by Bricks at Home. Wonderful challenge pack. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. So we've got a green car and a blue car here. So they have to go here in the opposite order. We've got a green and a blue spot. So we just have to flip those two around. Yeah, green and blue. Red and yellow have to go up there. Oh my god, this is actually really caught. White's got to go way to the end. The red engine's got to go there. And the passenger train's got to be back. These challenges are easy. I got it. No problem. We're going we're gonna to beat the record here. So we're going to go up to that switch. Past the, the little car here that's going to try and not kill us. Yeah, so we're just gonna go past this, get to that switch, grab the white car, bring it all the way forward back to the switch, get onto the turntable with the white car, turn it around, plop it into that spot, and then that's done. All right, perfect, here we go. Just gonna hook this in like that, grab you, done. Okay, first car, success. We gotta move the train, too. The passenger train uses that switch in front of that billboard there, but I think... I think once we remove this white car, we can just move the passenger train. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because then we can just get in behind it and we don't need anything else. So I think we can just do this. And as soon as we get out of the way here, I'm pretty sure we can just we can just activate this passenger train and let it... Now it's going to reset that switch on its own. And then it'll just drive through, hopefully, and park itself at the station. And it should be fine there by itself. These challenges are really cool. One of the hardest parts in these challenges, though, honestly, is visualizing everything because it's it's so hard to zoom out fully. Is the passenger train not moving? Hello? I turned on the switch for it. Do I have to manually set the switches in the track? Last time, the passenger train automatically moved its own switches. Maybe I have to manually drive the passenger train this time? I don't know. That's, that's some weird stuff. Anyway, let's get this guy parked up. This is easy enough. Just back this... Oh, no, other way. Back this up. Here we go. And... Still not moving. What the heck? Can I... Hello? What... What are you missing? Is there something else I gotta activate? What does this wire go to? There's a station here. This looks all fine. Like, there's nothing... This wire goes here. Oh, my... Do I have to park these ones first before it can activate the... Oh, my... Really? So I have to park these, the green and the r blue here before the passenger train will even let me activate with that switch. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Wait a minute, can I fix this with this? I got too excited. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my, are you serious? Are you, oh... Oh, I gotta restart the challenge. All right, now we have to basically, we have to flip these around. I, I was really hoping there'd be a fancy way to do this, but I don't see, we don't have another switch. Wait, can I just push, oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. I can just push, yeah, no, never mind, hold on, I can just, I can just do this. Uh, we just gotta break this here. Yeah, no, this is easy enough. I'm, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Sorry. We just gotta do this. Yeah, break this here. Just shove this in first. It's not really... Yeah, okay. I, I, this is this is really easy, actually. Just back this one up. We don't even have to hitch them back together. And then and then we go back and get the blue one in the opposite order. Yeah, yeah, this is this is super easy. I don't know why I, I was overcomplicating this in my brain. I was like, ah, this is gonna be super hard. We gotta take it all the way to the turntable. No, we just, just put it right here. Like that. Done. Unhook this guy kind of pushes that it's fine and then we go grab the other one and just shove it onto the front of that just shove this very carefully without knocking the green one off there we go so they're both they're both lit up and good to go and now i should be able to just go straight forward and activate the passenger train let's not stay on the switch though we got to be basically past i mean we got to just be right past this uh this intersection here with this car Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're going to sit right here. The passenger light is lit up green now. So now we should be able to just activate this. And that'll switch automatically. The passenger train will go over it. Now, it's going to go and not turn around, right? Like, it's not going to... I really hope it doesn't It doesn't decide to, to, like, go back and forth. That would be a pain in the butt. 
All right, perfect. Now, mind you, this is challenge eight, and like I said, according to the workshop, challenge 11 was the real, you know, hard one, the first hard one. There's apparently 20 challenges, so, you know, we're, we're obviously not going to get through all of them, but I feel like if we can get through at least challenge 11, we'd be having a good time. So, I'm curious to see, you know, what this difficult challenge 11 is. This is, oh, that's an explosive. That's, that's, uh, okay. That is an explosive car. These challenges are cool, and but even if you have the time, like, even if you have the puzzle figured out, and you know exactly where everything has to go, and what order you have to do things in, it still takes a while, just because this train is kind of slow. Which makes sense, because you don't want it, you know, glitching out on the track and stuff. Scrap Mechanic obviously doesn't like super fast things. And, you know, there's a whole timing element, like, if it was faster, it'd be easier to dodge the car. But it is, uh, it's very time-consuming to do one of these challenges. You can see the time, we're already at nine minutes. Just to move this thing around. And we know where all the stuff's gotta go. Imagine you didn't know. Done. That looks good. Alright, now we just have to go park the uh, the locomotive here. Our little engine. And we gotta park it way over at the far end. Here you, car. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. We're... <laughs> I was pushed into the explosive barrel there. I don't see any sensors on the explosive barrel, honestly. I don't think the car would, would blow it up, but here we go. The final one goes right over here. Perfect. Should be victory in about two seconds. Task complete? Task complete. Perfect. All right, challenge number nine. This looks interesting. There's not a lot of track. I don't, I don't understand. We just have to, what? All right, so there's a bridge. Like a little, a little canyon bridge. That looks kind of cool. It's kind of, it's kind of floating. I'm sort of slightly concerned that this bridge is going to just, at some point in time, collapse on us. Um, we just have to get yellow and red. Okay, there's the yellow car. We just have to shove it forward and get, I don't, I really don't understand how this is. The yellow one has to go there. And the red one has to go in behind it. Like, I don't, I don't get what's so difficult about this. It, What? What the? What? What? Excuse me? O okay. My bridge just collapsed. Well, that's nice. I guess we're resetting. What happens if I drive just the train onto this? Does the bridge collapse with just the train? Probably does, right? Like... No. It does not. Okay. So... Okay, okay, but I need I need yellow. See, the flatbed's too low for those sensors anyway. It's not gonna. Oh boy. All right, I don't. I still don't understand what the heck this is. What the? I guess let's just bring the yellow one all the way over to the other side. I don't know. Let's just bring it to the shed. Maybe we have to load something on it before it'll not collapse the. Br it's very. There's no explanation to any of these challenges. You just sort of have to figure it out. See this? I knew it looked too easy. Whenever it looks easy. You're definitely screwed. Okay, so that's that. Let's grab this. Let's just, I guess we're just going the other way. I mean, I don't really know what else we're, we can't go across the bridge. So let's just go this way and see what happens. Like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do here. What is, what is this? Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. I mean, I could run around the train and put myself you know maybe that's what we're supposed to do let me do that i'm gonna i'm gonna put my my engine in front of the yellow car by running around here the weird thing too about this is like it shows the red and the white the red and the yellow in this direction but clearly the sensors there show the red and the yellow in the opposite direction i have a feeling this bridge is going to still just collapse for us like i'm, I'm 99 percent sure oh yeah it, it did but it also what I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I guess that means we can go open the door. What? What? I, 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 what? Okay. I don't know what, I don't know what just happened. I don't know if that was a, a glitch in the matrix or what the deal is with that. There was clearly a door there you had to open, but the bridge, I feel like the bridge wasn't supposed to collapse, but it did anyway. And then somehow the logic still won the challenge. It doesn't really matter. 
Can I shove the green all the way to the end? I can. We could just grab the green and shove it all the way to the end. Okay, let's get rid of the green first. This, you know, start with the easiest things, work our way to the harder things. I don't know how we beat that last challenge. I have a feeling it was glitched out. That was challenge, like, what, eight, I think, or nine? So, yeah, I, I don't know what the... Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Can I, can I thank you? Let's just, let's just... Okay, so let's grab this, right? The red caution block one's got to go there. All right. Objective complete. The green one is in the position. Um, next, we got to get the yellow and the white. Um, okay, we can pull the white off and shove it on that switch and then pull the yellow off and shove it in for, I think, yeah, I think that's what we do. Okay, so we grab the white first, we pull it, we shove it down the switch where we started, basically right here. And then we go and grab the yellow. You can't fit more than two cars on the switch, which is essentially the whole difficult part of this entire challenge. Is the fact that the switches are not big enough for anything more than your engine and the car. And you don't have a hammer to shove the cars yourself manually. Uh, you could actually remake this whole challenge with a hammer. And that would actually be kind of cool. Where if, instead of, you know, using a locomotive to move the stuff, you actually just, like, kind of shove stuff with your hands. Although it wouldn't really be trains at that point. It would kind of just be... Some weird janky challenge. Doesn't matter. There we go. You're going there. Perfect. You're going to come here. We're going to shove you here. Can't really do both of these at once, but that's fine. You'll go here and just sit there on that track. And then we'll go back and get our yellow explosive. And now we got to time this with the spud guns twice. It's going to shoot me. I'm going to let it shoot me here. There we go. Now we're going to move. Perfect. Perfect. It doesn't really matter if it shoots us in the in the engine. It only matters if it shoots the cargo, right? So, and actually, it only matters if it shoots that one, like, open explosive canister. So, let's just wait here. There we go. And then shove through it. Perfect. All right. So, we got the yellow one. Done. Uh, now, we got to go back and get that other one. The white one that was connected to it. I think the last thing it wants us to do is just take the red one and there's a turntable at the very end so it wants us to grab the red explosive and we have to shove it onto that switch so essentially we have to go all the way to the end there's no explosive on this we're good we have to go all the way to the end with the red one dodging the spud guns turn it around on the turntable and then bring it back and shove it into its siding that's the, the intended way to do it the only other way i could think to do it is maybe if we could kick the car and have it have momentum to go past the switch point um, then we could, you know, avoid the, but I don't think you could do that. I don't think it'll, Scrap Mechanical hold the momentum long enough. There we go. So that's in. Gonna just wait right here. Done. Let's go. Turn it the other way, because apparently the hook is in the way. They really, it really made this just big enough for two cars. Alright, done. And then we gotta go back and shove it onto the other switch. Easy. All right, and I don't think I have to put the locomotive anywhere. I think we're good to go. I think this should just win. Done. Victory? Victory? Vic There's always a delay. Victory. Let's go. All right, that was challenge 10, which means this is supposedly the super difficult challenge 11. I think this is the last one we'll do. I have no... What the heck? Okay, we got to get the red one there, the yellow one, the orange one. There's three freight cars. Okay, what's the deal with the, the passenger train? Does it just go back and forth between a bunch of different spots? No. Is there a switch? We could activate it. Okay, gotcha. But the, there's no... Passenger train has to be at the very end. Okay, and it's at the start. So... There's the red and the yellow. They're explosive. Of course they are. Oh, they're all explosive. Fantastic. Red, orange, and yellow. Wonderful. So where are these things going? Oh, that is a lot of spud guns. Oh my goodness, that is, that is very un. I think this is why this challenge is hard. Is this a double switch? What? Oh, it's so cool. It switches both at the same time. That's so neat. All right, so red's got to go here. The red explosive. I'm just trying to scout the map before we hit the timer, but the, the pasture trade, I think, is going to... I mean, I don't know what it's going to do with all the spud guns. Oh my god, the orange has to go here. Okay. And the yellow has got to go to the very end by itself. The yellow almost has to be the last one. And we have no turntable. So we can only go around stuff. There's no turntable on this track. 
Let's get the orange first. I think that's the way to go. I think if you grab the yellow first, you're actually, like, screwing yourself up. We're just not going to touch the passenger train. Oh my god, never mind. We need the passenger train. I understand. I understand. That is too many spud guns. The passenger train is the block. It blocks the shots so you don't die. Are you... S this is awesome. This is the coolest challenge ever. All right, we got to get this passenger train moving. This is so stupid. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got to grab that. And then we got to get this. Okay, and then I got to go quickly over to here. Is the passenger train not going to move? What is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. What does it need to move? Oh, no. There it goes. Ah! Get back in my train. Just got a huge delay. Okay. Just got a huge delay. It's slow, though. So, that's good. We just... I, the last ones, the passenger train was faster than us, which is a pain in the butt. So, it's slow. So, we just got to pace ourselves with it and make it to the end. No problem. This is easy mode. All right. Perfect. Let's just pace. Oh, we're faster than it. Okay, that's even better. This is amazing. I can't believe- this is so cool. What a- what a creative thought. I, like, honestly, if I was building a train challenge like this, I never would have thought of making a level where you have to have explosives that you block the shots that kill the explosives with a completely different train. This is amazing. This is so good. So well thought out. Alright, does it keep going or does it stop at each station? It stops. Okay, are you gonna- it, it will- it should keep going though, I think. It's got a timer there. Timer's just gonna take a bit. Alright, here we go. Thank you. Love it. This is so cool. Alright, and then as soon as we're past this, we gotta just- we just gotta highball it as fast as we can. The train's gonna stop at this station. We gotta switch ahead of it before it needs to go. I hope it doesn't activate this switch right away. I think it'll wait. Yeah. No, we need, we need to get ahead of it. Perfect. So I get here. This is wicked. This is, this is the coolest challenge by far. The fact that you have to actually time yourself with the passenger train and not just, you know, push the passenger train out of the way. Alright, and then we can go here and then we flick this over and then we basically have to just wait for the passenger train to clear us. I might be able to actually get ahead of it. Hold on. Grab that. Disconnect there. Okay, one car is successfully where it needs to be. Do I have time? I don't- this is a risky maneuver. I gotta clear this, and then I gotta get off this switch before the passenger train naturally flicks this switch back to move itself. Because if it moves itself, I'm dead. Okay, we're good. We're good. You got time. Lots of time. Now it's gonna flick this switch back? Right? No? Maybe? Hello? Are you gonna do it? What do you- No? Okay, where's it going? I need the passenger train back here. We gotta grab the yellow one next. The heck happened here? There's a track block now? What? When I put the orange one, this- That track is now blocked? How does that make sense? What? I'm at- like, Wait, what? And I can't get this- Am I stuck here now? Um, hello? Is this challenge broken? Did I- did I break it? The passenger train doesn't seem to be moving. I'm- I might- like, is this- is this level difficult because I have to do it all in one straight shot? That might be why this level is so tough. This is actually gonna be insane. Okay, w hold on. We can assemble the whole train, though, before I even tell the passenger train to move. So let's do that. Yeah, that's right. We can assemble this whole train. No big deal. There's no time delay on assembling. There's no time limit. But it's- it's literally a one-shot. That's why this is so difficult. They block this track off as the passenger train goes by, so you can't backtrack at all. And you have to do it all at one shot with the passenger train blocking- uh, the, Yeah, the, I thought this was gonna be easier. Okay, so we gotta do this. Get this here. Oh boy, we're gonna be literally kicking out, like, the middle cars at some point here to make this work. The first one that's gotta come off is the red, and it's gotta be in front. So we gotta hook this up. Oh, goodness. Okay, I see why this is tough. This is- I get it. I understand what we have to do logistically. Whether or not we can do it all within the timing. 
That's going to be the million dollar question. Here we go. Oh boy. This is aw this is awesome. This is this is really really cool. This is a lot cooler than I thought this challenge was going to be. I thought it was going to be really really easy. I was like, "Ah, oh, whatever. You just got to use the pasture trade as a wall. No big deal." Okay, full speed ahead. We're faster than it. No big deal. Just using you guys to prevent these uh extremely hazardous cargo from exploding. Okay, there we go. One more. All right, now we can highball it. Okay, now we gotta start. We gotta get all the way to here. Oh, no, shoot, 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 shoot. I gotta leave these two cars back there. Oh, I might have already screwed up. Might have already screwed up. There we go. I gotta leave those back there for this to work. Right, and then we gotta get up to here. Okay, done. We gotta flick both of these switches. This is what might screw me over here is the time it takes to flick switches and stuff. Okay, then we gotta go like this. Back you up to there. Undo this. Oh my god, this is so much time. Go like that. Flick both of these switches again. Gotta get behind it. Okay. Right? Flick both switches again. And then shove it forward at full speed. And just let it kind of get to its spot. Don't really care. Like that. Good enough. It's split up. Perfect. And then we gotta go back. Then we gotta hook up to our train again. Oh no! No! You dumb, dumb! Oh, this is no, okay, hey, gotta restart. God dang it, I can't be too quick on the switches. Then we gotta hook that up and then run. We we had time, we had time. I was just I was just too excited with the switches. All right, here comes the train. This is, this is I understand this challenge now. This is why it's tough. The rest of the challenges didn't really have like a time limit per se. You can take as long as you want. It wasn't really a big deal. This one, you have to do it quickly. Or else you're screwed. We just gotta slowly creep our way forward here. It's kind of funny that we're just a little bit faster, but that's okay. Alright, there we go. Perfect. One more shot from that front one. There we go. Alright, so as soon as we get here, onto the spot, stop this immediately. Get over here. There's no remote switch pull either. If we could remote control the switches... Or even disconnect our cars. That would be amazing. There we go. Okay, we gotta get this here. Go like this. Flick on... Flick on... Uh, see, too far away from that switch. There we go. Back this up. Back this up onto here. Like that. Done. Disconnect this. Right? And then we can probably flick this at the same time. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we're trying to do as many things at once here. Don't be too quick on the switch. Gotta be nice and slow. Get over here. Perfect. All right, now we should be able to just shove this forward. Nice and slow. Don't over shove it. Don't want to accidentally have it go too far. Okay, there we go. Oh, too far. Too far. Does it matter? It lit it up once. I think it only matters if it's lit up once. It's still green, so I think we're fine. I really hope we're fine. <laughs> it's still it's still a green light, so I mean, you know, it should be fine. All right, and then we got to really quickly grab this like that. Oh, no, that's not far enough back. Stupid thing, gotta gotta bounce it. There's no train brakes. Connect that up. Oh no! It didn't grab! It didn't grab, you stupid thing! You were supposed to grab the we're so dead. We're dead. Like there's nothing I can Oh you know, my god. It didn't grab. The little hook thing didn't grab there's no way. There's like literally no way. I'm just dead. Unless I could get really, really crazy lucky with these shots. You know what? Technically speaking, there is a gap between the spud guns. Yeah, but it wasn't. God dang it. This is going to be a tough one. Alright, here we go. Train's coming. Should be good. Nice and slow. Just keep pace with that front car. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. One more shot out of that front one. Alright, we're good. Get onto this. Stop you there. Thank you. Really quickly. Hook this up. I can't believe I screwed that up. That was ridiculous. Alright, done. Get on this switch. Very quickly. 
The fact that you have to run around this first switch is really, really dif difficult. I almost just screwed everything up yet again. All right, there we go. Get you there. Get off here. It's like a time trial of just parkouring around your train as fast as you possibly can. All right, back up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're always like halfway through the time by the time we just get to this point. And then we shove this guy through. Like so. Come on. There we go. Good enough. Get that. Alright. And then we gotta... As soon as this is back. Done. Get going. Train's almost done. Gotta be very careful here not to shove too much. There. We're in the spot. Hook. Please. Please. Please hook. Thank you. Alright. Train's moving. Not... Just moving. Oh my god. We're barely gonna keep up with it too. Holy cow. If we were any later, that yellow car would have been would have been screwed. Okay, so the next part's orange. Now, orange, we have to just shove across. We gotta just leave the yellow car behind. As soon as we come here to this first switch, we just leave the yellow car behind right at the station platform. And then we come back and get it later. Okay, there we go. So now, we gotta get on this switch with the orange and the, the red. Yeah, and shove the orange back. And then we gotta come back and grab the yellow and then still beat the passenger car. Oh my god, this is nuts. Okay, so we gotta get here. Stop there. Get off here. Get get in there. Flick that. Flick you. Okay, go across. Oh boy, this is such a... It's such a close time window to hit this perfectly. Alright, we gotta get this. And we can do two things at once. We can disconnect you and disconnect that. Because we can just shove this. As soon as we get here, just shove. That should be enough. Perfect, it is. Back over. We still gotta beat the train. We gotta beat the passenger train through these switches. Okay, there, done. Like this, get you. Alright, quickly, 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 quickly. Grab that, okay. Quickly grab this. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't have time to wait. Let's go, get over there. Frantic, frantic, frantic. Passenger train's almost done. There's like one tick left on its stupid timer. There we go. Alright. Alright, perfect. Get this. Thank you. Come on. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we just wait and chill. There comes the passenger train. Oh my goodness. And then, and then we just, I think we just go straight ahead. We just highball it with the train. Holy cow! That challenge is insane. Do I have to- oh, do I have to flick this back for you? That's actually kind of nice if it waits. If it waits for me, that's- that's actually super convenient. And it wouldn't screw you over. You could have actually had a little bit more time on the switch. Oh, perfect. Holy cow! I can't- I can't- level 11. That is- I get it. I get why it's hard. That's cool though. I like that a lot. You just gotta be really, really methodical with your- your switch movement, your switch parkour. It is nice, though, that the hardest switching part is at the beginning, and, like, it gets easier when you get towards the end. Like, this last one with the yellow, we're just supposed to drive it straight through. So that's- that's definitely a lot easier. Alright. We're gonna beat this? I think we're gonna beat this. Oh my goodness. Uh, What? Okay, okay, this one just doesn't light up. All right, there we go. Woo, perfect. All right, this is level 12, but we're not gonna do this today. Gonna, gonna maybe come back to this again. There's a lot of levels. There's 20 levels, and this is, oh my god, this is insane. There's like a cross and a plus and some weird stuff going on. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Why are these, are these radio controlled? Ah, <laughs> that's so good. Oh, that's so good. They sync up their movements. Oh, that's totally amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I actually, I can't wait to get back into this. This looks, that looks so sick. I can't believe these are radio controlled. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is a wicked cool pack. Again, check it out on the Steam Workshop. And uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.